everyone's favourite fake festival is back as Forza Horizon 5 brings the tunes and the tuners to the sunny lands of Mexico. Get ready. This be the green light, go. Tires burn the pavement. People want to know where base possible they went. Still here, still in your ear with a style so hot, you'll see where all the sun rays went. The Horizon games have always been an unlikely combo of a somewhat realistic racing sim and an over-the-top open-world arcade racer. They're games that let you feel what it might be like to actually race the fastest cars in the world and recreates them down to the tiniest detail, then lets you launch them off the side of a mountain. They cater to the most die-hard rev heads who want to get under the hood and tweak everything, to the most casual Sunday drivers who just want to take a nice drive down the coast. It's a combo that I think is made for some of the best racing action you can find, and this edition has refined it to a T. Of course, you can play solo and offline, but if you're online, the party gets taken up a notch. Real players race around, giant multiplayer arcade events beckon you to join in, and the world is full of chances to play with friends however you like. There's a generosity of spirit to the Horizon games which I love, and you are constantly showered with cars, praise and fun things to do. From the moment you start, it's almost impossible to not be having fun. You're thrown straight into a series of cars that are literally dropped from the sky and serve as a sort of sample platter for what you can expect from the rest of the game. Which is to say you can expect a lot of cars, a lot of racing and a lot of silliness. Best idea ever. You soon find your way to the festival and from there the world opens up and you're free to race and explore as you wish. As you complete events, you'll get to unlock new festival outposts, with each outpost unlocking a specific kind of racing. So, once you open the cross-country outpost, you'll unlock all the cross-country events on the map. It's a great way of letting you unlock the bits you enjoy the most, while easing you into the thousands of things to do. Honestly, it's easy to look at the map and get choice paralysis. There's a few new types of events too. Expeditions give you a little area to explore and a few objectives, like setting up radio beacons. And there's also stories, which are multi-event tales, where you may be helping film stunts on a new movie Action. or trying to restore an old family heirloom. You are usually still either racing or trying to gain style points, but they do add a few nice twists to the action and give you a little bit of story to care about. <laughs> it's really here. <laughs> we found it for you, Papa Fernando. Another new addition is the Event Lab. This is a great tool for letting players make their own races and events and even has some basic programming, so you can make just about anything you could imagine. Of course, we all know I'm a bit useless at most creation tools, so thankfully it's super easy to check out what others have made. Player-made events simply show up on your map. And there's the Super 7 event, a selection of seven random creations to play through. Of course, the real new thing here is just the world itself. And oh boy, Mexico is stunning. This world is the biggest one yet, stretching from coast to coast with a giant volcano in the middle and everything from sand dunes, forests and towns scattered around to explore. They've done a great job of leaning into Mexican culture, with little touches and stories really bringing it to life. Something about its size feels just right too. Where previous Horizons kind of felt like game worlds, this has a much more impressive sense of place to it that just feels real, not to mention looks it. There's also some very impressive new weather events too, and seasons are back, although less impactful than they were in Britain. Overall, it's just a fantastic celebration of all things racing and cars. It made me love cars, and I'm someone whose appreciation for them is based more or less on whether or not they look like the Batmobile. I just love that you're free to race what you want, how you want, and can do it all in such a beautiful place. Sure, after five games in the series, it's a pretty familiar formula, but here it is better than ever. It's just a stunningly good time. So I'm giving Forza Horizon 5 5 out of 5 rubber chickens. 
I think I could be a racer. Watch this. Oh, I can't move my chair, but imagine it's going really fast. <laughs>